if tan x is equal to 1 divided by 3, where x is between 0 degrees and 90 degrees, calculate 2 cos x. This is a multiple choice question. And so you solve the question and after that you pick the correct option. The question tells us that tan x is equal to 1 divided by 3. Let's illustrate this on a right angled triangle. Let's assume that this is the right angle triangle ABC. And let's call the angle at point AX. We know that tan is equal to opposite divided by adjacent. So if the angle here is X, then the opposite side to X will be 1. And the adjacent side to X will be 3. So we now have the right angle triangle with the side AB as 3 and the side BC as 1. We can use the Pythagoras theorem to find the side AC. When we apply the Pythagoras theorem on this right angle triangle, we will have AC squared is equal to AB squared plus BC squared. AB is 3, BC is 1. So you have AC squared is equal to 3 squared plus 1 squared. 3 squared plus 1 squared will give us 10. So you have AC squared is equal to 10. We take square root of both sides and we are going to have AC is equal to square root of 10. So it means that AC is square root of 10. The question says we should find 2 cos x. 2 cos x will be equal to 2 times cos x. So we have to find cos x from the right angle triangle we have here. This is the angle x. We know that cos is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Considering the angle x, AB, which is 3, is adjacent, and AC, which is square root of 10, is hypotenuse. So cos x is equal to the adjacent side, which is 3, divided by the hypotenuse, which is square root of 10. And so 2 cos x is equal to 2 times 3 divided by square root of 10. Let's rationalize the set we have here. To rationalize the set, we will multiply both the numerator and the denominator by square root of 10. And so we will have 2 times 3 divided by square root of 10 times square root of 10 divided by square root of 10. 3 times square root of 10 will give us 3 root 10. Square root of 10 times square root of 10 will give us 10. And so we will have 2 times 3 root 10 divided by 10. 2 cancels itself 1 and cancel 10 5 times. So we will be left with 3 root 10 divided by 5. So it means that 2 cos x is equal to 3 root 10 divided by 5. When we look through the options we have, we can see that the correct one is D.